Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 30th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise and exactly how both Disney and Lucasfilm are going to be handling the Star Wars universe moving on forward throughout this entire decade. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that both Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are working very much hard at developing this new expanded universe in case you guys are out of the loop. This new EU is actually said to be far larger than the old one that we got back in the 1990s and the early 2000s. It's going to be a mixture of TV shows, movies, animated TV series, books, novels, comics, you name it. The entire new Star Wars trilogy and so on and so forth. That's really going to all be modeled after the MCU. They want Star Wars to become more popular and more successful than the MCU. And to me, I think that in order to obtain that, you really do have to have a success on a consistent level, right? Kind of similar to what the MCU has done. So when we look at everything related to the Star Wars fans, as of right now, a lot of them are very much up in arms over one specific project that Kathleen Kennedy has full creative control over. And that is, of course, the all-female-led Star Wars TV series for Disney+, Plus that is actually said to be in current development by Leslie Headland from Russian Dolls. Now, Leslie Headland, in case you guys did not know, her main focus is to include identity politics, real-world issues, personal agendas to its maximum for this new Star Wars universe. And I think that's going to be a big disaster for a lot of fans. Now, on top of all of this, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with The Rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as the new Star Wars universe. Now it's explained that currently both Bob Chapek and Bob Iger are working together as a team in order to create a better and brighter future for, for the Star Wars franchise and that they are hard at work on developing the new Star Wars universe that George Lucas, Dave Filoni, and Jon Favreau will be involved with. Now though Kathleen Kennedy no longer has any creative control over the existing projects in the early development phase, by contract Kennedy is actually able to take full cre creative control over at least one project which is the all-female-led Star Wars TV series for Disney Plus by creator Leslie Headland. Now, it's noted that one of the big plans by Leslie Headland is to not only ignore George Lucas's vision, but that she also wants to ignore the fans and the Star Wars community entirely when it comes to the Star Wars franchise. Leslie is said to want to completely tune out from what Star Wars is and want to develop a new normal of what Star Wars can be by ignoring what the fans want. Now, Leslie Headland is described to view the Star Wars community as a distraction when writing a series or a project, and that so she is actually said to have a plan in place in taking some advice from director Ryan Johnson to ignore the fans and to focus on her own work and progress. Now, Leslie Headland and Kathleen Kennedy are said to be in the works of getting Ryan Johnson on board as a director for their new female led Star Wars TV series, and that Leslie Headland loves The Last Jedi and what Ryan Johnson created. Additionally, it's described that her TV series will focus on the Force and will reset a specific timeline in Star Wars history, and that this was an idea not just by Leslie, but also by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy to create a new normal with the TV series. Now, Leslie is said to have a goal to make the series have a different tone for Star Wars, and that by ignoring the fans and their wants and needs for Star Wars, and also by getting rid of George Lucas's vision for Star Wars, Leslie's main goal is to make a Star Wars TV series that is not held by a foundation of Star Wars fans, but to rather attract brand new Star Wars fans from the ground up. It's unclear if the series will be successful or not since many fans are already are boycotting the series before the script has even been made or before it's even been filmed, and that Kathleen Kennedy has been very frustrated with the fans over their reaction to Leslie Headland being hired, being hired for the new project. Now, the thing about this, one could debate, all right, it hasn't been released yet, there's no footage, there's no script, how in the world could somebody like me, for example, judge a project that's not even released yet. Well, the problem is here is this. It's a all-female-led Star Wars TV series just because, just for the sake of doing it. And we've seen a prime example of what happened with Ghostbusters 2016. I always use this as an example here of an epic failure, you know, let alone uh, the other Oceans film, which was an all-female-led, you know, TV, uh, an all-female-led movie, I should say. That also failed. That's another example. 
So when we look at everything related to Star Wars, this is obviously going in the same direction. There's no doubt about it. If this was just a regular TV series that maybe involved Leslie Headland, maybe doing, you know, one female lead, that's a different story. But this is going to be an all-female-led Star Wars TV series, which I think is way overboard and is a little out there. Now, when we think about Star Wars, obviously, the fact that she wants to ignore the fans, ignore the Star Wars community, and even George Lucas's vision, this just tells us that it's going to be a colossal failure, and it's really not going to meet expectations on any level. In fact, there's a lot of uh, women out there, as we speak right now, that are totally against this concept, totally against this project, and they are also against it. So that pretty much is the proof right there that it's not going to work. So with that being said, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.